Hey everybody, konnichi was up. Yeah. So I'm really excited for today's video. This video was requested by one of my fans down below, somewhere in the interwebs in one of my YouTube videos. And I wrote it down and I wanted to check it out. And I just saw the thumbnail and I realized, oh yeah, I've seen this guy before. And it's a really famous, really cool Japanese artist. Trust me on this. And his name is Yutaka Ozaki. I know him because he was recommended to me by another person and I heard his song and it's on my iPod. It's called Sotsugyo or Graduation and it's one of the most famous songs by him in Japan and oh my god do I love it. Dun, 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 dun. Sotsugyo. And this singer is just so amazing. He really gets into his music and really rah, lets it go. He almost sounds like he's yelling and his heart is ripping in two when he sings. He's so amazing. But besides for Sotsukyo, I didn't really get into him that much because of time and I just forgot about him. So I'm so happy someone recommended him to me because now I'm getting to watch him here in Japan. At, I think it's 2 a.m. right now. And this is his song called Forget Me Not. So without further ado, let's go! Go, go! Forget me not, Mitaka Ozaki. I got some VHS quality. Oh, damn! 1987, so that's like 30 years ago. Ooh. Damn, you know what? He kind of looks like Japanese comedian Gekidan Hitori. Ne? <laughs> Sorry, I was saying he looks like that comedian and he's really good looking. And that, don't get mad at me. But yeah, his voice is amazing. He's always like sweaty and really just deep lost in his music. See the sweat and the spit pouring off of him, man. That's what I meant by he just yells into it. All his passion into his music. Hmm. Ah, that's right. Forget me not is the name of a flower. I forgot about that. I love how damn deep he is into his music. Man, though, can you just imagine being the girl you wrote this for? A lot of, actually, Japanese singers write their songs for someone they love. It's crazy. It's 
very different than like uh, Guns N' Roses, what was that one, Rocket Queen, <laughs> which you can actually hear the two in the background, right? Very different culture-wise. Let's run away together kind of songs, right? Ooh, look at him go! Yutaka, I love him, man. He's awesome. He's in his own little world when he sings. He is amazing. Is he just resting the mic on his shoulder? I like that. <laughs> just hanging off his shoulder is like... Like he's talking about like running away from town and I just imagine like one of the hobos with like the little stick with the thing at the end. He's just like... I'm gonna take my mic and go home. I love him, man. Every time I see Yutaka in one of his songs, I mean, again, though, I've only saw two. <laughs> but I mean I, I mean, I skimmed through some of the other ones, or I must have saw some others before, too. But like, because I remember just all the time he has this deep emotion, and he has his own little world when he's singing. Like, all his passion is going through. And then he rips a little hole into that like the meaning of his song, the meaning of his life, and then he allows us to come through that with his music. And that's what I love about Yutaka Ozaki. No other musician really does it as well as him, I feel. Some would argue X Japan, but nah. Ozaka is on another level than X Japan, in my honest opinion. But all right, guys, you know how it goes. Let's take another look at this. Take two. Who is that? Is that like his family backstage? Just buy a poster of him. Ariake Coliseum. I don't know if that's still here in Japan. Actually. Okay, maybe it doesn't look like Ikidan Tori. I take that back. Maybe at the same time, like, you know, sweating, crying, Japanese comedy, that's why I thought maybe. Nah, he's, he's a good-looking gentleman. I want to know who he wrote this for. His wife? I don't think he had a wife this time. Whatever happened to Yutaka too? I need to look into him more too, you know? Great, beautiful love song. And, uh... I believe on Soul Tsukyo, the video I watched, he played the piano himself. Like, he's amazing at piano too. But in this video, someone's playing for him, I guess. But dude, do not make a mistake. Yutaka is the man. He can play the piano better than anyone I know. And that's not saying much, because I don't know that many people that can play the piano. <laughs> but he's the man, he's the man.
Uh, I know Yukue no ho means I don't know where 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 love resides would be a better translation than that. See the English lyrics at the bottom. I, I gotta ignore them. They kind of take away the real meaning of the song. I don't know where love resides. It sounds just way more romantic, doesn't it? Is this like, this is probably like the first 10 minutes into his concert and he's already that sweaty. That's just how much drugs they did in the 80s. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But just how emotional he is and how deep he gets into his music. It's so good. But, uh, yeah. At the end of his concerts, man, he must be like a melting frosty the snowman. Sadako jumped out and scared me. What am I thinking? It's 3 a.m. I'm tired, people. But this is the best way to go to bed for me. Watching an amazing Mistaken, he ended his life very young. But yeah, his songs, his legacy remains in Japanese culture even today. And he was one of the mm, top five Japanese artists that I really grew to love. But again, I need to look into him more. <laughs> and there you have it. Uh, that was requested. And I delivered. And yeah, I love him. I'm going to listen to more of his stuff soon. If you guys want to see me do another reaction to him, list one of your favorite songs down there below and I will look into it. But I'm going to listen to a couple more songs of him before bedtime. So see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. And man, you know, just, just, I don't need to say it anymore, do I? <laughs> but I probably will. All right, guys. Good night from wherever you are and see you next time. Hona, mata, na. Bye-bye.